Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about motocross games for the Nintendo GameCube. MX Superfly is a solid experience on the GameCube. As game modes you get a career mode, where you create a player and get to choose between two careers actually, a racing career and a freestyle career. So you actually get two careers in the game, which is nice. In the racing one you get plenty of tracks and from here on you know the drill, you race. And in freestyle career you complete all sorts of mini games, which are tasks like jumping over buses, collecting pizza and delivering it to people on stage. And the problem is that the physics get wonky if you don't pay attention. And some of the mini games will get in the way of having fun. In rest you get quick races, freestyle quick events and mini games. So even if the freestyle career might not be fun all of the time, the racing one is awesome. You race in so many different tracks that you lose count. You get big airs, the graphics look great, and so are the controls. It's a great motor motocross racing game. You get a track editor, and some of the freestyle arenas are very large and even have easter eggs in them. I recommend you the game, it's a solid experience. Freestyle Metal X is badass. It's like a Tony Hawk game, but with bikes, meaning that you get big maps to explore and do all sorts of tricks, and doing the career mode unlocks more maps, more bikes, more riders, and as expected, new events. As for tasks, you get stuff like race against the clock, clear large gaps, execute specific tricks, catch moving targets, do sick combo moves to make a huge score like in Tony Hawk, and so on. But while the game is fun in general, the frame rate has occasional hiccups and the graphics look like the game still is in development. There are some moments where the game looks so plain that you would ask yourself if you are a game tester who plays an alpha version of the game for the company, or is it actually a game who was released? The game looks unfinished, but the gameplay saves the game, as it's a lot of fun. Freak style doesn't try to be a simulation like MX Superfly, the first game reviewed in this video, that had more authentic racing in it. You even had to watch your suspension in MX Superfly to get bigger air. But Freak style is about extreme racing, not simulation. The speed is crazy, and if you think it's fast what you see in the video, wait till you fill up your freak meter. Then you can boost yourself even faster and leave trails of fire behind you. Also there are 6 race tracks, and even if 6 tracks doesn't sound much, just know that the tracks are pretty long. And the game is super fast, and aside the 6 race tracks you also get 3 freestyle arenas. Also the game is tough, not only that you go fast, but bailing means a lot. If you bail you might lose the race for good. And opponents are tough too, so if you like extreme motocross racing, go for it. Big Air Freestyle combines MX Superfly and Freak Style to make another solid game, that is a good blend between simulation and extreme stuff. It has races and freestyle events, just like the others, but it has its fair share of problems too, like lots of bugs that make you fall through the map. If you get caught executing a trick when you encounter one of the game's invisible walls, you will end up crashing and very slowly slide down the invisible wall before respawning and other bugs. So it might be a good blend, but it has its fair share of bugs. Jeremy McGrath Supercross is that type of bad game that you get to like it because it's bad. I mean, it's so terrible that it's good material for a funny video, but it's not a good game to play for enjoyment. It's very hard to even steer in the game. The physics don't always work as they should. Oh, and that thing up there is the pointer, in case you didn't know what that polygon mass was. The game is extremely buggy, telling you wrong way when you are on the right track, and the tracks are incredibly confusing some of them. The physics are bad most of the time, so yeah, if you want to make a YouTube video out of it, then play it. If you want to enjoy the game, don't play it. Okay, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, and if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I left the links to those in the video description. 
Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I made. Thanks for watching.